folks, welcome back to the Rock Rockford Ordinance. We've been talking, oh God, forever about getting our Cerakote up and running. Now, it might seem like a weird place to start, but we've got everything almost ready to go. I'm waiting on a couple of things, and I just thought we'd start here. This is what we have decided to go with for our oven. It is an electric smoker and it's made by a company called Pit Boss. And after a lot of research and a lot of time and looking into all this stuff, uh, it's the direction I finally went. I'll tell you how I got there. Um, if you look on the market for um, ovens specifically made or sort of tailored to Cerakote, powder coat, those type of things, there's nothing at the low end and nothing even at the mid-range until you approach start approaching upper end there are specific ovens made for the task some smaller but yet the uh, point of entry is large minimum three to four thousand there's one company out there that's making them uh, that you can get in in that range and they're fabulous i'd love to have one but at this point, um, I wanted to spend a lot of other money in other areas to make uh, this project come out better. This will do everything we need it to do for quite a while until we can get one of those uh, ovens. And like I said, those other ones require running 220 and a bunch of different things. While I have access to that here, this just made more sense at the price point. It's by no means a cheap smoker. There's a lot cheaper out there. You hear of guys making homemade ovens out of uh, lockers, uh, sheet metal they had laying around, an old oven they stole parts from, this and that. This is, for the most part, turnkey. It will hold the temperatures you need at an even temperature, which is important, and get the job done with plenty of room to spare. And, uh, it works there's a lot out there but it takes a lot of looking and piecing to come up with one that does it all this does it all with very um little um compromise how's that sound um so yeah we're going to get into this we're going to tell you about its features that it comes with right out of the box and the one change you do need to make to uh, get it working perfectly. So come on along and let's check it out. All right, before we go any further, I want you to listen very carefully. Listen. You hear that? You hear that peeping? Sounds like birds. It is. It's our chicks. We've got chickens coming. We had chickens before, had a nice coop out back and everything. Uh, over the years, lost some of the chickens and uh, the coop had seen better days. So this year we thought we'd get some more and uh, build another coop, so we're going to. I'll bring you a little bit on that too. And no, we didn't do it just because of egg prices. We've always had them for, oh, I don't know, 17, 18 years. And I uh, just wanted to do them again. So if you hear a little peeping, that's because their brooder box is sitting right next to me here. Anyhow, let's get into it, shall we? So this is the Pit Boss Silver Hammer Tone um, electric smoker. Why do you need an electric smoker? Well, propane gives off um, water vapor, essentially. Um, it, there can be impurities in it, that type of thing. With electric, there's none of that. So you don't have to worry about anything interacting with the coatings, that type of thing. You certainly can't use a charcoal smoker that, uh, we don't want smoke. Although it's a smoker, we don't want smoke. We just want to bake. So electric is perfect. When you're talking about um, electric smokers um, for the home, uh, the nice thing is they run off 110. You don't need any specific electric needs, that type of thing. They'll plug right in. Uh, there is a slight drawback to that in that just about anything you buy that will work at home with a regular 110 plug is sort of limited around that 1500 watt rating, right? 
your hair dryers uh, will be 1500 watts. Um, a heat gun, for instance, you buy for your garage, 1500 watts, that type of thing. That's pretty much the top end of what household electrical products uh, will pull. If you look closely, you'll find a couple smokers that are 1650 watts. So that's an important specification you'll want to look at when looking at these ovens because it gives the, you that little extra boost you need to get to the temperatures you need for Cerakote. So uh, H series Cerakote, you're going to need 250 for metal and in your, their Elite Series or E-Series, you're gonna need to be able to hold 300 degrees Fahrenheit solid for two hours. Um, a lot of the ovens just won't get there. Now, we've tested this one, and I can, it's got a digital, I'll show you here in a minute, but it's got a digital control panel, which is nice. Um, it, you can set a timer, you can set it for the exact temperature you want, uh, all of that good stuff. You can even plug in a separate um, temperature probe, so because it's a vertical oven, your temperature is going to be different down here than it is up there, and we're going to address that in just a second tell you how we got around that. That's the one change you have to make. You have to make that temperature even. Um, that being said, I plugged this in and right off the bat, I was able to get 290 degrees solid. It would hold, it went up to that and that's where it stayed, boom. I think it went maybe 295 once, but uh, uh, 290 is where it held. No, that's plenty to do H-series Cerakote. Uh, Elite and a couple of the other specialty ones, you need to hold 300. Well, at 290, you're basically doing it. Why? That temperature sensor is right at this level here, and that was at 290. There's two plugs to put two other temperature probes, and it comes with one. Uh, here it is, cable. Uh, it plugs in to the little jack at the bottom, and I put it in the side. Uh, if you can see in there, those aren't fans back there. Those are vents if you were using it as a smoker. Right now we have them closed and we've got a solution to permanently close them uh, that I've just got to put in. But uh, I ran this in the back. Funny thing is, we're getting 290 down here. We were getting 406 up here. It's a huge difference. Now, if you need to bake something at 250 and you've got, let's say, a barreled action in here hanging vertically, uh, the bottom's going to be baking out, uh, let's say, at 250, and your upper is probably going to be at that point uh, maybe 380s, 390s. Not good. You need it um, even throughout. So, how do we do that? Well, you need a fan. Uh, you can source them from a couple different sources. You could find one in a old convection oven, an old microwave, uh, different things, oven, whatever. Um, you can all go two different ways. You can go with a thermally protected motor, meaning it can handle the heat of this oven, and then you can put the entire fan and fan motor internal, uh, or if you can't find one and you just source a regular old fan motor, you can put, let's say, the shaft and the fan itself inside. Uh, maybe drill a hole in the back. And what I would, if I was going that direction, I'd probably drill a hole in the back, mount the motor to the outside and the shaft and fan inside, and it would circulate the air. You just need a small fan just to be moving it, and it'll even out really, really well. Uh, the easy way is put it outside, of course, but then we can't put it up against a wall in a shop where we want to use wall space and leave the uh, center open uh, for other things. Uh, but in a perfect world, we'd want to put it internal where the whole thing is enclosed. And I always like a neat, clean, professional project. So I'd love if it could be wired into that electronic uh, control panel where when I turn the oven on, it turns on automatically. Maybe even 
switched if we wanted to on or off. But I think if we had it wired direct where when that oven went on, it went on and we're good. And that's the way we're going to do. Luckily, well, unluckily, I know a lot about 12 volt stuff. But when it comes to 110 and then soldering into computer boards and stuff, not so sharp on that. But I've got a gentleman that uh, is a friend of mine who was a master chief in the Navy aboard a, a nuclear aircraft carrier and he was an electronic engineer. So uh, I ran the project by him and he said, hey, I know just where I can uh, scavenge a uh, fan motor and fan that is uh, will run in that heat and I know how to wire it in and we'll get it all going for you. So that solves the technical part of it and then where are we going to put it where it's out of the way? Well it just so happens that this being a smoker and I don't know if you can see this let's see I guess you can this handle here you pull this out and this is the tray that you would normally use to put your wood chips in. And it slides in there and it sits just above the electronic uh, elements, the heating elements. So I thought, boy, if I could get a fan that sat low enough at all, maybe we could build it into here. He believes we can. We also have a huge space underneath there and behind uh, this electronic control panel, essentially the bottom of the oven here. Uh, I was going to, um, before I put it together, put some insulation in there. Well, it's easy. I can still insulate it without taking everything apart and just put some wool insulation in there to keep heat from exiting out. But I noticed while I was test running it that we weren't losing heat out of the bottom really. Everything was radiating up so the insulation really doesn't matter. I can use that space there to mount the fan in and uh, it'll be in there. And of course the control panel's right there. He can wire it in and we'll be good to go. That's gonna happen this week and we'll show you that when it's done. But plenty of room down there to do it. Other than temperature, uh, the big concern with going with the smoker was having enough room. And the bar I set was being able to put a barreled action of your average AK-47 pattern rifle into this, have it hang vertically and have enough room. Uh, there's a nice latching system on this door. One of the other features I loved about it was the glass door. So you can kind of see what's going on in there. Not that you need to, but it's kind of nice to be able to look and uh, give you a little peace of mind. While we're on the door, this uh, little emblem here says Pit Boss. That's just a little insert uh, made out of pop metal and painted. And it goes through the glass similar to how a uh, temperature probe or temperature gauge would. And you just unscrew the wing nut and it pops out. Well, I've got a family member making a custom aluminum disc that goes in there and it says Rockford Ordnance so it's going to be kind of cool. From the front uh, you really won't know it was a smoker. It'll look like it was custom made uh, for smoking. On the inside we've got a seal that goes around the door here and it's, it seems soft enough but it's not all that thick. You've got an adjustable uh, locking mechanism here, which will pull it tight and squeeze that seal nice. But right here at this top corner, I noticed when it was on, I could look through here and see the orange glow of that. So it's not sealing from about here to here. So we have to address that. The other thing is it's on casters, so we can move it around. But these hinges here uh, are either drilled off a little bit or maybe bent a little bit. It's made, I'm sure, overseas in China. Um, anyhow, we're going to adjust these a little and or bend this hinge a little just to suck this top corner in a little bit. Or if worse comes to worse, I'll add another seal and it'll be fine. 
it heated to 290 even with the leak here you could feel it coming out of there uh, that may not be on everyone maybe this thing got banged a little in shipping or something or like I said maybe they just drilled these hinges off both look like they're sort of leaning that way a little bit so we're gonna mess with it and see if we can't adjust that uh, before I get to the inside of it we'll come around the back here and there's a handle here so you can move it around because the outside gets a little warm but uh, you can touch it you're not going to get burned that type of thing uh, these are vents if you were using it for a smoker uh, I can actually tighten these down enough to where you really can't move them here but there's slight um, openings you can see a little bit and we lose a little out of there so I am cutting two solid discs out and we'll use the same screws and maybe a little adhesive and just permanently close those off uh, just save a little more heat I don't know maybe uh, not that we need it it gets to 406 at the top here um, without doing anything a lot of uh, I see a lot of other guys doing smoker ovens for their Cerakote and powder coat on YouTube and what they've done is uh, the unit separates from top to bottom right here so from here down is the bottom here up is the top it's uh, six screws I believe and the whole top pulls off and then inside here you've got four screws here and four screws on this side and you can take this inner liner out and you could insulate it two ways you could put wool insulation behind it uh, there's plenty of other products on the market um, I think you could even do it like a gun safe where you put drywall in there drywall is a very good um, heat and, and fire barrier uh, that's what they use for instance in townhomes to separate units they use a double layer that's what's in most of your lower end gun safes that give it the fire rating they have so we could cut pieces of that and put them in there um, I might encase those in plastic of some, or not plastic, but uh, encase them in something that's fireproof, uh, heat proof, just in case there was dust or anything coming out. We wouldn't want to get that uh, into our finish. So, but again, it's holding temperature just like it is. Uh, the outside does get a little warm to the touch, but not terrible where you're going to burn yourself. But it could save energy and it could shorten our. Uh, heat times to get it up to temperature um, 250 we reached in under 15 minutes maybe 10 to 15 I didn't time it exact um, 290 I noticed we were at it at about a half hour but I think it actually happened faster than that um, we'll get um, times on it when we start um, actually using it for Cerakote so being as it's a smoker it came with all kinds of racks and like I said, the biggest thing was I wanted enough length to do a barreled AK action. The average one's about 21 to 22 inches. Wanted a little extra, uh, so 23 was the minimum, and this one's even more than that. So I can use the, the factory grate at the highest position here with hangers and still have plenty of room to hang uh, those type of barreled actions. I can certainly get hand guards in here uppers and lowers and whatnot and i uh, got plenty of room to hang things not worry about it hitting um, i tossed in this rear grate down here uh, why not doesn't need to be there but if i drop something it wouldn't go down into the bottom so we put that on there if i needed a little extra space i could certainly take that out uh, but it's in for now um, this rack we can use our wire hangers and there's plenty of room uh, to go around and you can add more racks uh, I came with a couple more at least and uh, we got that um, there's no seal here the seal is on the door and it seems to work really well there's uh, it's one big element and two ears of the element come up this side and two come up this side and it heats very well here's that lower temperature sensor I told you about and then there's an uh, that other one I can plug in I can plug in two and we're good the casters lock so I can lock it once it's in place the back is flat 
so we can put it right up against the wall and like I said it doesn't give off enough heat to uh, bother anything here's the latch you just hook it like so and push and it's adjustable but it seals really well other than the one corner here even comes with a bracket down here to wind the cord around for storage so all in all a nice unit with plenty of room uh, it gets to plenty of temperature um, looks good works well uh, so far the computer board does everything um, I've asked it to do the timer works well shuts it off um, if it holds up we'll see um, but I don't uh, believe that uh, it'll be a problem so we'll go from there and uh, I can't wait to try it out the only thing like I said we got to get the fan in there so it's circulating it and that's not going to be an issue I got that handled and I think the average person watching this could certainly uh, mount a fan through the back and uh, wire it in not a big deal and then the only other change are those two discs on the back I doubt I'm going to do the insulation I don't need it and I'm not too worried about cost we'll see maybe if I get bored we'll put the insulation in but uh, yeah the only other thing maybe a light up in there somewhere I don't know we'll see if I come up with something like that but really don't need it when the elements on you're getting enough glow from that you can pretty well see anything going on in there and uh, pretty neat so cost what did it run I had seen them in stores there's several versions of them with different heights some a little shorter I believe they advertise this one as a 40 inch let me look at it real quick uh, blah, 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 blah. the model number is PBV 3D1 uh, there's a part number on here too 10947 but I believe the model number is the uh, PBV is in Victor 3 David 1 and it's called the Silver Hammer Tone um it doesn't say the size on here but i'm pretty sure it was a 40 inch smoker is what it was uh, if you're going to be wiring something in uh, they go over the entire digital board here and the nice thing they included that i really wasn't expecting was an entire uh wiring diagram for the unit and I just saw it here I wanted to show it to you real quick uh, there's a wiring diagram although it's pretty basic uh, at least it has that so you you know what you're looking at um, so yeah all in all great thing looks good fits in well we'll put our little touch on it here with that disc and I uh, can't wait to show it to you um, that's about it if you have any questions or you're looking to get into Cerakoting uh, let us know what you're using what you've done this is easy turnkey oh yeah price uh, I think with shipping and all from Amazon there was free shipping it was between five and six hundred bucks somewhere in there so a little bit pricey I know there's guys finding used ones and this and that careful with used ones if it's been used and there's grease in there from cooking unless you get that thing spotless that grease is going to ruin your Cerakote finish ruin it I promise you you better off to start new um, if you can find one that and let's say you only need to do the 250 degree coatings you can find one that holds 250 you don't need as much room maybe you don't need to spend this but uh, it fit what I wanted it to do the casters the glass was a nice upgrade all that stuff and it's certainly going to temperature remember this was rated at the 1650 uh, as far as watts so I think that's what's giving us that little extra kick because a lot of people report they just can't get the temperatures up this high um, but yeah seems to be working uh, great also if we run into problems with uh, consistency of temperature because uh, maybe the thermostat kicks off when it gets to temperature thermostat will kick off you'll see the temperature drop and kick back in you may get a five degree uh, maybe eight degree I think I saw most temperature fluctuation 
if that becomes an issue I'm just going to line the bottom with fire brick fire brick uh, when you add mass to something that holds heat the heat held in those fire bricks will keep that temperature more stable even when the thermostat kicks it off um, you could even line it if you wanted to um, there's other products out there to do just that um, ceramic uh, it looks like fire brick that type of thing um, anyhow if that's an issue or you want to do it in your oven and you got some questions let me know I've used it before it works pretty good uh, even a regular bricks in the bottom would do just fine um, anyhow that's all I got for you. Hope you guys like it. We're going to be bringing you videos on our sandblaster setup, the upgrades we did to it from Tacoma Company. Great stuff. We went all the way with it. And then with our Cerakoting kit and our acetone tank. So you'll see all of that coming, even the gun, everything. We're going to show you our high end how home hobbyist to entry level commercial setup so hope you enjoy it uh hope uh, you got something out of it and uh, thanks for stopping over uh, check out our live stream tuesday nights eight o'clock p.m central time coffee and kleshnikovs come over check it out get in the chat we talk about what you want to talk about we pull your questions comments from the chat that's what we talk about. Uh, everything from AKs to AR, Second Amendment, and even Cerakoting. And a little bit of reloading and 2A thrown into boot. So come check it out. And uh, thanks for everything you do for the channel, guys. We love you. And as always, Rockford Ordnance out.